mistakes that truck drivers make on the road. I've shared with you guys a few stories in the past regarding things that have happened to me, mistakes that I've made on the road. In this video, I'm gonna share with you stories from other drivers. I'm gonna share with you a few stories, but there's a bunch here, the source that I'm reading from, so stick around to the end of the video if you wanna, if you wanna read through some more of these stories about embarrassing moments that truck drivers had on the road, I'm gonna leave you a link to where you can read through this information yourself, okay? So the question asked is, what was the most embarrassing or effed up thing you did as a truck driver? Some of these posts are really, really funny. Brea Phillips, which is a woman. I read through this post a second ago, but I didn't realize it was a woman. Okay, check this out. Brea Phillips says she got food poisoning at a truck stop Hardee's and had diarrhea. Pulled over because there was nowhere to use a bathroom. Jumped out of the driver's seat to get out of the truck on the passenger side. Maybe her driver's door wasn't working or something. By the time I got to the passenger seat, I realized I never popped the brakes because the truck was rolling. <laughs> Dived head first to the truck with my hand. The slam of the truck stopping throws me under the dashboard. From the floor I reach and pop the brake. While stuck under the dash, I couldn't hold it any longer. She couldn't hold her having to use the bathroom any longer. So then she ended up taking a whole butt naked bucket bath on the side of the truck. Whole time I'm on the side of the highway, there's a service road next to it. A lady ends up passing by while I'm exposed. I had to throw away my favorite pair of shorts, leave them on the side of the road. Never ate there again. Had my stomach busted. <laughs> that has to be a nightmare situation to go through um, as a woman, as a woman truck driver. <laughs> Check out this, uh, this next one from Mike McIntyre. This is crazy right here. Mike McIntyre says he emptied a full, he says POS jug, P-O-S-S, -S, but I think he's trying to say piss jug. I emptied a full piss jug into the windshield washer tank of a Pro Star driver who slipped bobtail into a spot I was setting up the back into. That's this stupid right there. The driver went in for a shower. I lifted his hood, topped his tank, closed her up, and walked away. The guy next to him saw the whole thing and was dying. That's crazy. <laughs> if some, if I come out of truck stop and somebody's under my hood. It's gonna be some problems. I can guarantee you that. Mike McIntyre, you put your life in jeopardy that night, big homie, all over a parking spot. Okay, I would, that's not smart, okay? Ken Guise, this is another interesting one. Wow. Ken Guise says he pulled out a dock with the forklift and driver still in the freaking trailer. He got the green light and a dock worker took the glad hand lock off. Right, so if you're new to the industry and you don't understand that, when you're backing into a dock, a lot of the times, if the dock is open and available for someone to back into, it'll have a green light. And then when you back in, a lot of docks have like a hook that'll hook the DOT bumper on the trailer to prevent the driver from pulling the trailer away from the door. So then the door, then the trailer is actually locked against the dock, and then the red, the green light will turn red and you're not supposed to pull back off as a truck driver or try to pull back off until you get the green light. Also, what some people will do is send a worker out to actually disconnect your red line that goes to your trailer and they'll put a lock on it, just an extra layer of precaution to prevent you, the driver, from pulling off from the dock. This guy, Ken Guise, is saying he actually got the green light and they sent somebody out to unlock his trailer to take the lock off of his red line and even after that, he went to pull off and somebody was still in the back of the trailer. So that clearly wouldn't have been his fault, okay? Uh, but that's a scary situation right there. Brandon Johnson says, I forgot to hit the air brakes. And once I heard all the booms, wow. I looked back, my truck was in the woods. You gotta make sure you remember to hit that your, your, your air brakes when you stop the truck. Derek Delato left my terminal after swapping trailers but pulled off with the landing gear down, scraping through the parking lot in front of my manager. May have lost your job after that or gotten put on probation or something like that, at least, okay? But this is a mistake that I've made myself. When you're coupling and uncoupling, I recommend that you do everything in the same order, in the same routine. Every time you drop a trailer, you wanna do the same procedure in the same order every time. I used to kinda of do what needed to be done to drop a trailer in any order. Sometimes I get out and drop the landing gears first. Sometimes I get out and 
separate the wires first. Now I do the same exact thing in the same exact order every single time whenever I drop a trailer or whenever I pick up a trailer to prevent to, to, to prevent me from forgetting anything. Don't want to forget to raise the landing gears or lower the landing gears. You don't want to forget to, to separate your wires. And it's easy to forget that stuff when you're not paying attention and you just, you, you don't have a routine to it, okay? Here's another one dealing with food poisoning. You guys have heard before that road food is no good, okay? It's not healthy for you. These people are talking a lot in here about food poisoning from these places. Kenneth Scott Mason, believe I got food poisoning at a Petro in New Jersey. Woke up, had to throw up, told my teammate to pull over while I was throwing up. Ended up dookieing on myself. Didn't know I had diarrhea too. Now I'm naked on the side of the truck, on the side of the highway. There we go again. Trying to clean my butt with a baby wipe. I left them clothes on the side of the highway. Yo, I see clothes on the side of the highway <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I guess now from now on I'll associate those with truckers that had to take a crap. <laughs> he left his clothes on the side of the highway and he had to ride and he's riding with napkins in his drawers for like the next two days. I was messed up. That's just freaking disgusting, man. Sean Jugger says he delivered the wrong stuff because he didn't check the paperwork. I talked about that before. I've made that mistake before. I talked about that in my video, 21 mistakes that new truck drivers make. Dionica Chimney, she says she turned on a road in Illinois that they were doing construction on. Didn't know really which lane to turn on. They had orange barriers up, but had them in a effed up position. I seen cars and trucks on the left side of the street close to the light, not knowing they were construction worker, worker vehicles. I pulled up behind them and sat there waiting on the light to turn green. LOL, I missed two lights in doing this. Now I'm blowing the horn at them to move, and they all out there looking at me like WTF. Once it dawned on me that I was on the wrong side, I had to break through the barrier by knocking some of the barriers over. Wow. Here's an interesting one. Drinka Smith. First day on my own, I got lost. Ended up going down a 16% grade right off into a two mile long dead end with no signs. Following the quail calm, the qual calm directions. Then I had the audacity to back out of it. No one was armed in the process, but I pooted the whole way through. Didn't, don't tell nobody else. <laughs> A.R. Alexander, thinking I was connected to a trailer and wasn't, and the trailer dropped. Gotta be careful about stuff like that. Chase Banco, I went five miles up a curvy mountain. First hill was easy, second hill okay, third hill whoa, fourth hill now my truck was like hell no. I took an hour and a half to reverse back down the mountain. And ever since then, I'm still not good at backing. Sean Jugger says he tore the doors off the trailer. Christian Nall says he took a dump on the scale house door. Scale house was open, no one was home, and I had to go and restrooms were locked, so I took a dump on their front door. Christian, that's just unnecessary. There had to be somewhere else to do that other than on their front door. Missed the last step getting out of the truck at the shipper. That will throw your damn knee all the way out. Made a U-turn in someone's yard didn't set my brakes and got out and locked the door whoa and it started rolling backwards by the grace of god i was able to unlock the door jump in and pop the brakes <laughs> jeremy mosley backed up three feet short of the loading dock and hopped into bed union fork driver let me sit there all night chauncey morris tore down new power lines that the power company just put up because they were too low they watched me do it lines were down for a whole block so look there's a lot more um, interesting stories on this post. So I'm gonna leave you a link to it down in the description of this video. Read through all of the stories from these truck drivers talking about embarrassing moments that they've had on the road. I personally believe that as a new truck driver, the more you know, the better off you're gonna be. And a post like this is gonna make you more aware of what to watch out for and what to pay attention to as a new truck driver. You can hear from the stories that I'm reading some of these things have to do with being in a hurry and not really paying attention, just not double checking, okay? So again, knowledge and awareness, read through these things and it's gonna make you, it's gonna make you more aware of the things that you need to be double and triple checking on as a new truck driver. So. Maurice Bay, the helpful trucker here. For more helpful CDL tips, go here or consider subscribing to my YouTube channel right here. Could have been anywhere else in the world, but instead you chose to be here with me and I really appreciate that.